Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of Jupiter Plays All the Games, this time with the Ludum Dare. This is the Ludum Dare 48, uh, with the theme Deeper and Deeper. I'm going to be playing as many games that are entered into my spreadsheet as I can before the rate and play time ends. That seems fair. Um, yeah, so if you want me to play your game, it's a little bit different. Please add your game link to the URL in the description. And if you want to support me on my journey of playing a bunch of games, there are links in the description to my Patreon. Um, and my Twitter, and follow me on Twitter or supporting me on Patreon to help. Well, let's get into these games. We're playing Rock Monster. Oh no, you're lost on the surface. Find your way back to your family. ASD keys to move and dig. Space bar to explode. Should you find any rubies? I also like to explode. All right, so we need gold to find our family. Thing, there's so much of it. Which I knew exactly. Oh, wait, there we go. We can find rubies and explode. Oh, I guess we need to, like, find way more. Oh, we can't go up. That's fine. We are a giant rock. Oh, and we can't. We can't. I'm not sure if I understand what world diamonds do. It actually looks like you can just break through them without anything happening to us. Get those rubies. That was a pretty good like little stash. Wow, so that's exploding. So I guess with exploding you can break blocks that you previously couldn't break. Yeah, simple game, makes sense. Next. We're playing Legend Delver. Legend Delver. Sure. Attacking for damage. Hmm. Yeah, that's this one. Attack for one, take one extra actions. Yeah. Then I guess we will. <coughs> she had a shield. <coughs> oh my goodness. So I'm suddenly full of sneezes. What is Delve? Oh, we just got to go deeper. We don't even have to attack. But this person's attacking for one. Let's gain a shield. Deal three damage. Well, I want to kill him. Deal one damage. Deal two damage. Gain a shield. Draw three cards. Gain two actions. It looks like we have to go, but I just want to. I just want to kill this person. There we go. You should be dead now. Oh, but then we can delve to go deeper anyway. Interesting. We're pretty healed. So I guess we'll gain a shield. He's only attacking for one though. And then we can just delve. Hmm. I like the graphics. It's a pretty interesting game. Next. I'm just gonna record my entire screen because I feel it's the best for this. We're playing a Wiki Vortex. So quest fruit disaster video game. Complete all quests in order, then return to Coroputa. Start Vortex. Alright. So we need to find park, lake, and then video game. Here's lake. Well, we need park first. Alright, so we've kind of got to, like, search. Find stuff. Official name. Flooding. Landing. We need to find park. I found lake. We need to find park. What is this? It's a dam. Okay. Reservoir. Hmm. I feel like you could actually learn stuff that wasn't skimming. I mean, I don't find the word park, or do I need to find the name of a park? Not a president. Let's start again. Board game. That's fun. Board game freight song. This is about the military wing, though. Did they play a board game? I wonder how it generates all of this. Play of six. Afterwards, operation. Blah blah blah. Want to join a wing? What is wing? Unit. Okay, wasn't sure if there was gonna be more definitions. Air ministry operations. So do they to learn? Do they do a board game? Okay, I'm trying to look at the stuff that we can highlight. 
pathfinders, it's place, person, place, hmm. We just got the groups. Into what happens if we click something? So we've moved someplace. We only have nine. We have to move someplace that eventually gives us to board game and then free and then song. So if you know a little bit of facts, it might be easier to sort of find your way through this. It's definitely an interesting concept. I wasn't sure if we were gonna get more windows and stuff. What's this? Radar, are there any radar based games? Board games maybe, that help you learn about radars? Here's a detector. Could that have been used to make a game at some point? Hmm. This is quite fun though, exploring. It's a neat concept. Next. We're playing Hyper Jack. Ooh. This is kind of interesting, because we have to, instead of being able to dig, we kind of have to dig with this. And this kind of pops up on its own. It's definitely like a machine with its own thoughts and feelings. It just needs a little bit of help. Come on. Let's keep going. You're doing great. A great little jackhammer. That's what these are called, right? What a different take on the sort of digging down type games. I don't know how to actually combo up properly without letting it fill up a bit more. And doing that sort of thing. I do like that it oh, slightly follows you. It's almost like it really wants to do its job, you know? Cute. Next, we're playing the Spectrum Soup. Right, I don't want to follow. Okay, there's people. How deep do you want to go? All right, let's pick up an ingredient. You can make the soup without ingredients. How can you make the soup without ingredients? You can't just stay here on the surface. You must go deeper to find the ingredients. Can I also take this ingredient? You want to open the door, proceed. It's time to dive deeper and explore the ingredients for the soup. Leave the door open. Is it possible to perceive all details? How much detail can you perceive when you look around? They're getting flowers. Is that an ingredient for my soup? Oh no, the magnifying glass. For some details are not details. Details are what they truly see. Their visions are like a magnifying glass, perceiving every mark they see, hyper focused. This is a game that makes you think a lot. There's like three options from here. Ah, uh, moon emotions are like a gradient. In general, there are countless possibilities between the two extremes. Black and white, eight or 80. Not a gradient, not in between. Decisions, conclusions, and emotions are binary for only the dice allows for only two choices. Uh, I think I disagree. I think there's limited, uh, limitless possibilities between two emotions. What do you do to think clearly? Sleep more. Walking back and forth or meditating remedy? No. Oh, he's got like a little teddy bear. Stimming back and forth or shake your hands and body or you need a familiar sensation or a friendly teddy bear object to hold it and squeeze it. That sounds comforting. I never was good at pacing. It's a very interesting game. It really makes you think. It's way, it's deeper and deeper in the concept of making you think deeper and deeper. Next. We're playing Sausage Madness. Dan's here. Hello. There we go, okay. It works. Oh, so it's just a port. Okay. Uh, press enter to start the game. Deep Sausage Madness, my dad, it's Deep Sausage Madness. Madness. I'm on keyboard, Dan's on controller. Oh, we have to press these in the right order. Home. I don't know why any of mine are. Home. A, A, oh, is it just typing? Home. 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 We're gonna Home. eat sausages this Home. way. Home. Home. 
I have home. way more home. buttons. I do not know home. if this is balance. Home. Well, I guess maybe if home. you really know controllers home. and you yeah. really know keyboards. Home. Home. Yeah, I had this problem where I was home. playing a lot of games with a switch home. 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 on my PC, and so when I went back home. to playing home. Home. I was like, why are the X and Y buttons? Home. Home. <laughs> why am I slapping people's necks and not them out? This doesn't make any sense. Ah, uh, Yakuza. Home. Oh, and Hitman. Home. Ah, oh, you won. Oh wait, no, but I still wait, won. Uh, we ran out of hot dogs, but I won. Oh, the sausages. Yeah, that's because I was hitting X and Y. Now the beverage. That's just because I'm better, actually. Blug, blug. Okay, sure, we can accept this. Yeah. Oh, now we're like shaking. Okay. Ah. Well, I don't like shaking this much. Why? This is like us getting drunk. Don't you just do this when you normally drink soda? No, I sure. Uh, it's B Y A X. I can't tell which one's the the uh, front one. Uh, y is it? Is it Y? X Y. I think it depends on where your X A character is. I have no idea. I'm just hoping that, you know, I still win. But it's very hard for me to tell. Yes! Green wins, wow. This is madness. This is very fun, though. Simple, but fun. Oh, there's even more. The knife. Ooh. Next. We're playing Roots. I like the sort of filter. I, I don't know if it's filter is the right word on this. Let's grow. Ah, oh, so we're, we're Roots, so we're gonna be going deeper. Get some water. Gotta make decisions, so I'm gonna go this way. Oh, I thought I'd connect to both of those, but it didn't. Oh, I ran out. I don't think we did a bad job, though. Got two flower points. Let's do speed, and then maybe, like... Water retention. We'll have a game with upgrade system. So the water sort of behind you is your tail, is how long you have to go. That one got that water for us, which is very nice of it. However, it didn't help us too much. This is a simple game, but it's fun to play. Still just got two. Division, let's do strength. Oh, I can't go up. I can only kind of go down, didn't realize that. That's what the other thing was. Hmm. The upwards. Next. We're playing dice, demolition into the core of Earth. This was all fine. There we go. You need a special iron alloy in plastic form that is ex exceptionally impossible to create. Good thing that exists in huge quantities. The Osada core is made of it. Okay. Interesting. You've designed a Hoover digger equipped with a TNT fabricator using the Earth's own heat to create that and ammunition for some other weapons you thought of bringing. Why bring weapons? Well, as anyone who ever played Minecraft knows full well, there are lots of monsters underground. Press any key. Or the A cross button to start demoli demoli demolishing your way down. Alright. Alright, already see monsters. Guess we just throw this. Can't really see too well. Or definitely monsters though. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay. I feel like my ammo does take a while to like come back, which is hard. Wish I knew how to like switch, I guess, to something that reloaded faster. What is a good thing? That was a big explosion in your face, and it should have definitely hurt you. Weird green bob. Thank you. 
I like the 3D nature of this game. We haven't played any 3D games yet. It's got quite a complex story. I don't know if we're doing very well at it. I feel like it's definitely something that I'm missing, you know? Next. We're playing Danger Co. Danger Co. I can, I can read. I swear I can read. Hmm. What are these buildings for? Do we need to mine this? I've gone back to how to play. There's aim and throw. So I guess that's what we do. We just aim and throw. Oh, oh, okay. I don't know why I was like, what are we aiming and throwing at? I think that we need to be a bit more careful. And by we, I definitely mean, whoa, I definitely mean me. That worked. That worked. That worked. All right, can't explode that. We've got sixty coins. I guess that one will let us go deeper. Did we die? Aw, oh, darn it! Can you imagine digging from your own explosion? If I was a real human, I could just place it down. <laughs> that went down straight to the next one. I wonder if there'll be secrets the further down you get. There we go. Ooh, ruins. That looks like secrets. Uh, bats, please don't notice me. I'm just here, um... Causing loud noises and disturbing the peace. <laughs> Next. We're playing Deep Blue. I'm playing the downloaded version because it was much uh, easier. Or, well, better for me. The other one was a bit laggy. Hold space to dash. That uses oxygen way quicker. But now I see why I need to dash. Probably this shark. My head hit the bottom though. Oh no. It's a stealth game. Oh my gosh. That actually made me jump. I physically jumped. Amazing. Oh, but then I ran out of oxygen because I was dashing too much. What a fine balance. Ah, okay, I didn't think it could attack me there. I don't know, that's a challenge, those two. Next. <laughs> 